Hello good people and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. In this short video, I'm going to share with you a simple trick you can use to share files with your colleagues using a direct download link. It saves you sending emails back and forth. So with just a link, they can simply download the file without previewing your OneDrive folder or your Google Drive folder. So join me and let's go through this in a few minutes. So in a short video, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. If you have your files in OneDrive, we'll show you the trick. If you have your files in Google Drive, we'll show you another trick as well. So for starters, your file has to be in OneDrive or in the cloud. So if you go to your files or your recents, this is the file I want to share a link. So I can just click here. So when, when I click, I get these options at the top. So my option now is to share. So I'll click share and I get this pop up. So here I have some options. I can decide that anyone with a link can edit or not. So if you don't want people to edit the original file, you can uncheck this. Okay, so the changes do not hit the version you have in the cloud and then you can apply. Okay, now once you are done, you can now close this out and then in that same options list that you saw up there you see the option to embed so when you click on embed this originally is to help you embed the file in your website so or web page so once this is here you can just click on the link it generates it starts with iframe so you copy that link and then you can paste it in your notepad or word so I just want to paste this here and then show you what we need to do. So here, the key thing we need is the part that starts with the H okay, and ends with the ID. So ID usually is just the character before the double quote. Okay, so this is the part that you need. I can color this red so that you know that section. And then you change embed to download. So you come here and then you change embed to download so this is that link that they can now click and then get direct access to the file without going through your folder so let's test this so you can come to any web browser and then you can paste this or share there are url link shortness like tiny url bitly rebrandly that you can use to shorten this but for this purpose, I'll paste a direct link and show you how it works. So once you hit enter, you get the direct the directly downloaded here. So this is the option with OneDrive. Now let's look at the Google Drive option. If you have your files in Google Drive, again, similar process. You open the file and then here I'm going to click on it and then use this share or get link option so I'll click on get link and by default it's restricted so I'm going to change this to anyone with a link so once this changes this is the link that would allow third parties to access this so I'll copy this so I'll just paste the link here if you look closely you see that there's a unique ID after D so I've highlighted this unique ID and what you need to do is to recreate the link so that it reads this way. So this first part, google.com slash uc id equal to, then you paste your unique id here. So this is our unique id. I'm going to copy this and then I'll paste this here. Okay, so you close off all the spaces. It's better in a text editor or notepad. So now this is my direct download link so again if i come here and then i paste this i get the option to just directly download the file if you don't want to go through any of these and you want to create this direct download link from here you can use this website okay sharing it boldly on my screen so once you take this website, it brings you to this 
place and then you can paste your original you can paste your original file here the one you copied with the sharing option and then you create the direct link so once you click this you now get the link that would also allow you to share and then download the file directly the good thing about these tricks is that if the file is going to be updated often your colleague can always keep this link and then click on it when he wants to access the latest edition so you can use onedrive or google drive whichever option works for you please practice and add it to your tricks thanks for watching